If you're thinking about buying a luxury home in a gated community in southern Utah, or perhaps you already own one and you're kicking around the idea of selling it, this video may be helpful for you. Today, we're going to talk about three iconic luxury gated communities right here in St. George, Utah. And we're going to look at some of the market activity just to see exactly what is happening with the inventory and where is this market headed. And of course, if you think about luxury in St. George, three communities should come to mind. Stone Cliff, Entrada, and the ledges of St. George. Without further ado, let's dive into it and take a look at some numbers. Folks, real quick, and then we're going to get right back into the content. Michonne and I created this channel to help folks just like you that are looking to relocate to St. George, Utah, or anywhere in the state of Utah for that matter. We run a number one relocation team right here in St. George, and we would love to take care of you. So please reach out to us because we have no way of reaching out to you. Call us, text us, email us, or reach out to us on social media anytime. We would love to hear from you. We'll start with Stone Cliff. Stone Cliff is an incredible community that is located right in the middle of town. It's really close to everything. It has a gated access at the bottom of the hill, and a lot of the properties in this community have incredible, absolutely incredible city views, in my opinion, some of the best views of St. George. So in July of 2023, Stone Cliff is looking like it is a seller's market. There are, there's 3.14 months of supply worth of housing inventory in this community. And median property value is at around $1.16 million right now. If we look at the housing stats, you can see that Median estimated home value is 1.03 million, which is a pretty low estimate. I'll show you guys um, some of the active listings that are currently available there, and you'll see why. Median list price as of July is at 1.14 million. List price as of one month increased by 36%, and a 12 month average were down by about 15.9%. There are four listings currently active in Stone Cliff, or four listings that were new in July, rather. And they're hitting the market on average at about $357 per square foot. And there's a total volume of about 5.2 million active listings. So there are 11 total active listings going on 65 median days on the market at $352 per square foot and median list price is at 1.13 million, which is actually kind of a deal. Um, if we look at this graph historically, in 2021, things have kind of ran away in Stone Cliff where you know median list prices were over $2 million. So it is nice to see that um, there are some better priced properties in that subdivision right now. So if you're shopping, there may be some interesting deals in Stone Cliff right now. In the month of July, there were five properties that went under contract with median days on the market at just 37. And it looks like median list price was at 829.9. Median price per foot was at 310. And there were two properties that sold in July What's interesting is um, this website gives me access to the people stats in this neighborhood. Um, and it's it, it may be interesting for some of you guys that are moving into the area. I know that some of it could be a little bit off. It looks like total population of Stone Cliff is around 1,000 people. I don't know that there is even 1,000 units in Stone Cliff. Um, median age is 48 years old, male to female ratio is 54%. Shows us education level of population. It looks like professional degrees are held by 15%, which is above US average and above Washington County average. Bachelor's degree, 22% of the population. Pretty well-educated folks. Population 
of children by the age group. There are 37 toddlers, 128 high school kids, 64 elementary school kids, and 122 kids in middle school. So there's, there's a good mix. There's a, a good amount of families that are empty nesters and a good amount of families that are um, adults with kids. So it looks like 35 to 54 is the larger age group in Stonecliff. There are 375 folks in that age group. 55 to 64, about 252. And now that we're talking about households with children, there are 149 households that are married with children and 231 households that are married without children. Household income brackets, uh, majority is over 150K a year. And this even gives us a drive down of all the occupations. It looks like healthcare and social assistance is the top profession of Stone Cliff. And then it kind of drives it down this list. I don't know how accurate that information is. And it even gives us a presidential voting pattern. 15.4% Democrat, 82.8% Republican. Let's take a look at some of the active listings. And I will, if you guys are interested, I will also share a link to all of these Stonecliff listings. There will be a QR code right here in the corner. You can scan it if you're watching on your TV, or there will be a link in the description below this video. So you can see whenever, regardless of when you're watching this video, you can see all the active listings for yourself. Looks like currently, and, and this is why the median price seemed a little bit off, looks like entry point in Stone Cliff right now at the time of filming this video is at $1.13 million. And there are just six listings on the market. And they go up to $5.2 million and the listing at 5.2 is actually currently under contract. So those are your current options if you want to live in Stone Cliff. And if you're a seller, if you own a property in Stone Cliff and you're thinking about listing it, right now may be a good time because look at your competition. I mean, you're you're going up against just six listings. Let's take a look at Entrada. Entrada is an iconic Southern Utah golf neighborhood that has incredible amenities, including direct access to golf course, spa, pool, massive clubhouse, and so many luxury amenities, they're just superb. So as of July of 2023, there are 3.8 months supply of inventory, making it still a seller's market, but there is a bit more inventory in Entrada right now. Uh, average list to sold ratio is 96.7%, meaning that an average property that's sold at Entrada went under contract about 3.3% below asking, 3% below asking. So you could, you could get somewhat of a deal. You could get some concessions from the seller at this point. It looks like median days on the market are at 19 and median sold price was at $1.26 million. Let's take a closer look at the housing stats. So median value at 956,000. It looks like in the last 12 months, things had appreciated by 69.9%. Median list price at 1.07 million. And in the last month, prices increased by, or list prices rather increased by 7.6%, but they're down by about 10% year over year still. Median home age is about 15 years old and 87% of all the homes are owned, 13% are rented. In July of 2023, there were six new listings that hit the market in Entrada with the median list price of 872,000. Median price per foot is at $372. And Median living area square footage is 2,300 square feet. So Entrada has medium to larger sized homes, typically. There are currently 
18 active listings with a median price of 1,074,000. And it looks like all the active inventory has been on the market for about 104 days. So things are starting to sit in Entrada a little bit, but it's not unusual because a lot of these homes are higher end homes and it takes a little bit longer to sell the properties that fewer people can qualify to purchase. And the median price per square foot uh, on the active inventory right now is at $390. There were three listings that went under contract in July after just 63 days on the market on average. Median square price per square foot is three hundred forty-three thousand. There were seven listings that sold in July, with a median sold price of one point two six million dollars. Average list to sale price was at ninety six point seven four percent, meaning that things were selling for just a little bit around around three percent below asking price. So meaning that some concessions were made and you know maybe some offers slightly below asking were accepted. It looks like median price per square foot on all the sold listings was at $439. It's important to note that Entrada currently has 3.85 months of supply. As of last month, we dropped by about 16% in inventory, but Annually, the inventory has increased by nearly 20%. So it's nice to finally be able to see some listings in Entrada. And I'm kind of hooked on this demographic and the people aspect of it. I still don't know how uh, this MLS extension gets this demographic data, but let's take a look. Looks like total population of Entrada is about 1,000 people. Population changed since 2010. It grew by 33%. Median age is 66. Male to female ratio is 48%. Looks like there are some highly educated folks in Entrada, and nearly 32% have a graduate professional degree. Bachelor's degree, 27%, almost 28%. So it's substantially higher than the rest of Washington County. This is an interesting stat. I'm not sure how it gets collected, um, but there are 25 toddlers, eight high school kids, 45 middle school kids, and just 26 elementary school kids. So Entrada does not have very many children. And as we see on this graph, 559 folks are between the ages of 65 and 74. So nearly 50% of the entire population, um, 75 and older, there are 196 folks in Entrada. And anybody that's younger than 55 years old, I would say shares about 35% of total population. So lots of, lots of mature folks in Entrada. Um, 48 households are married with children. 455 households are married without children. And 31 households are single with children. Income brackets weigh heavily over 150K. And it looks like healthcare uh, comes in the first place for occupations. And then retail trade second place. And it kind of drives down from there. And presidential voting pattern is also 15.4% Democrat and 82.8% Republican. I'm not sure where, actually, it looks like uh, this data is sourced from electionsatlas.org. Let's take a look and see what's actually listed in Entrada right now. So there are 17 active listings in Entrada. And the starting price point is at just 595000 And there's a decent amount that's available under a million. 
and these listings go all the way up to 8.3 million, of course, depending on the size of the property and other features. And folks, if you're interested in, in seeing the link to this search, I will post it in the description below, or there will also be a QR code in the corner. So feel free to check those out. Let me know if you have any questions. Our next neighborhood is the Ledges of St. George. Ledges is an incredible neighborhood that's a little bit further out off the beaten path, and it feels like it's a little bit more private. It backs up to um, the Snow Canyon. It has incredible 360 degree views, and it sits right on the golf course. There's a gated and a non-gated part of that community. And let's take a look at the housing stats at the ledges. Looks like in July of this year, we saw a total of four new listings with median list price of a million twelve thousand. Median price per foot was at three hundred and ninety-six. Total volume was almost five million. There are currently eighteen active listings with median list price of eight eighty-nine, and they spend about eighty-six days on the market at three hundred and fifty-nine dollars per square foot. There was just one listing that went under contract in July, and there's not a ton of data on that listing that's currently available. And there was just one listing that sold at the ledges. So if you're thinking about buying at the ledges, it looks like you may have some options. Let's take a look at the ledges demographics now that we have looked at two other neighborhoods. So total population, according to this, is 3,000 people. It has increased by nearly 56% since 2010, which is probably true for most of Washington County. 48% male to female ratio. And it looks like, I don't know, according to this, most of the ledges has some college, 14% has a bachelor's degree, almost 15%, and graduate professional degree, about 11.34%. Looks like there are 133 toddlers, 464 elementary school kids, 362 middle school kids, 67 high school kids. Adult population is divided pretty evenly um, about 570 folks are between the ages of 35 and 54, 55 to 64. You've got 357, 65 to 74, 393. So it's a pretty mature population. Majority of it is really 35 and up. So it's a nice established neighborhood. If you like some peace and quiet, like some nice views and maybe like a little bit of a, a little bit of golf, uh, the Ledges of St. George is absolutely perfect. There are 223 households with children and 378 households married without children. So predominantly empty nesters. Household incomes are north of 150 in their majority. And occupations, and it's interesting how this data is derived, but it looks like majority is in retail and trade than some healthcare, education, construction, and it kind of drives down from there. 15.4% vote Democrat and 82.8% vote Republican. I get the feeling that this stat might be for the entire state. I wonder how it drives it down for the neighborhood, but it seemed to be the same for the neighborhoods that we checked out. Let's take a look at all the active listings at the ledges. So currently on our MLS, there are 13 active listings at the time of filming this video, and I will provide the link if you guys wanted to check out these listings for yourself. Prices are ranging from 789.9, and they go all the way up to 2.2 million. It is an incredible subdivision, it has a resort style living, and I would definitely recommend checking it out if you 
haven't yet checked it out, if, if that may be something that's on your radar. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you're thinking about selling your luxury home and or maybe just kicking around the idea just because you're not sure of what that property may be worth, please reach out to me. I would love to provide you with a complimentary obligation-free market analysis report to give you a better idea of what your property value may be. And of course, if you're thinking about moving to Southern Utah, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to be of service to you.